Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta for a channel update. I'm trying to compose myself right now. I just finished teaching. It is Sunday, so that's why I don't have much makeup on. I'm a little sweaty because I just finished teaching. But you guys, I just watched a this morning and, and finished it up after I got done teaching. I watched this documentary right here called The Story of... Serge Oblensky, an Aftermath Foundation documentary. I shared it on my community tab. Um, oh my God, this is one of the best documentaries I've seen in a really long time. I'm a huge fan of the Aftermath Foundation. Uh, I think they're doing incredible work. Um, I Eventually, I've been in talks with Mark Headley, this guy right here, um, to come on my channel. We were supposed to schedule a time, but he had some stuff that was going on. I believe it was around that Dan the Danny Masterson trial. And so we had to postpone it. I'm going to be reaching back out to him soon to come back on the channel. But he and his wife, along with um, a lot of the other members of the Aftermath Foundation, put this documentary together. And oh my God, you guys, like, you don't have to be an ex Scientologist to appreciate what they're doing because it's not even at the end of the day. Yes. Uh, Scientology is the one that is kind of the perpetrator of some of these horrific things. But at the end of the day, we all know what it's like to be a human being. Sorry, this was just an incredible documentary. And, you know, these people at the aftermath foundation are giving people their, their, their human, their humanness back. And um, nobody deserves to be treated the way that some of these people have been treated. So um, yeah, if you guys have not seen this, definitely check it out. The story of Serge Obolensky. I wasn't even going to talk about this on the, the channel check uh, catch up today, but I'm just, I was just so blown away and I'm still like trying to hold back tears because if you if you're somebody that's ever been in a situation where you feel like you know it's hopeless watch this documentary because there's always hope and his story is just unbelievable and what an incredible person Serge is and all the people that helped him and um god what an amazing documentary but anyway if you guys ever want to do a fundraiser for the aftermath foundation just let me know i was going to kind of hold on that until i actually spoke to mark headley on this channel but um that is definitely a, a nonprofit that i really really like and i think they're doing really really good work trying to help people recover from high or high control organizations and help people reclaim their lives. So just let me know if that's something you guys are interested in. All right, changing subjects. <laughs> so we spoke about this, or I spoke about this with Catherine a couple of weeks ago. And I know that this is probably going to trigger some people, but you know, I, I you can't make everyone happy. And I know that we're an a time in our timeline where people are very, very offended very, very easily. And I you know, try not to be somebody who throws the baby out with the bathwater. Um, with that being said, I let me go back to my share screen. I have become an Amazon affiliate. So um, I spoke about this with Catherine. And again, I know there are going to people be people who are very upset because, you know, this vigilante behavior with pitchforks that we've got to take down any company that we deem in our opinions to be bad. Um, I know a lot of people are that way. I, I know that the owner of Amazon has some questionable behaviors, allegedly, uh, but that doesn't mean that the rest of Amazon is bad. In fact, uh, Amazon hires a lot of people. And because of big companies like Amazon for right now, there are people that are able to put food on their table for their children. And so if we were to go pitchfork vigilante and take down these companies, we would be putting a lot of people on the street. And so I just hope that people understand that there is a complexity when it comes to this stuff. And if you are one of those vigilante people, then you probably believe anyway that all of the, um, all of the, the, powers that be have already been taken care of. So if you believe that, then, Potentially, Amazon is now run by good people anyway. But the reason why I decided to be an affiliate, and yes, I will earn commission off of this. That's not that's not a secret. Um, mainly was because I recommend a lot of books on this channel. I also get a lot of emails from people who ask me about, you know, yoga stuff or mats or 
all sorts of questions from people, what kind of makeup I'm wearing, all that kind of stuff. So I thought, you know what, this will be a really good place to help keep things organized. So, you know, if you are um, somebody who has a ma and pop shop in your hometown where you like to buy your books from, then absolutely, by all means, support that small business. That's not what I'm saying. But if you if you are wanting to buy from Amazon, at least you have a place where you can go to see all the, the material we've used on this channel so you know where it is. So even if you're not using this affiliate link to buy from, you can at least come and look and see where everything is. So I set this up this weekend. Now I'm still learning the affiliate stuff. So you'll have to um, forgive me for having some growing pains. There are certain, uh, you can only have certain number of items in each category and so i'm probably going to have to like create more categories like especially for the books i have three book section sections on here already um and i had to divide the books up between like kind of different categories and we'll have to probably create a part two for books on the show so as you see here this is the category as seen on youtube so I just found out there was a problem with the YouTube link for the books on YouTube. So I'm going to try to fix that today. Um, I just noticed that I went in and it was gone. So I had to go look at that. And I think it was because the picture I had picked had YouTube in it. So I have to go back and reorganize that today for you guys. But while I'm doing that, let me go ahead and show you guys everything else. So these are books by guests of Esoteric Atlanta. So in here, you have books by the guest. Um, here's Kelly Teal's book. Gersant Singh's book, and then Mark Headley, who, again, as I was saying, speaking of the documentary, he has not been on the channel yet, but I went ahead and put his book in because I know we're trying to get him on the channel. So you guys, it's an amazing story. I have it right here from Mark. Mark actually sent it to me. So I do have it right here. Um, and of course, I will put Gersant Singh and Kelly's interviews in the description box below in case you miss them. So any other guests that come on the channel that have written a book, I'm going to try to put them in the category books by guests of Esoteric Atlanta to keep it organized. If we go back um, and look, let's just look here. So people ask me often about clothing that I'm wearing. Sometimes Amazon is hit or miss with clothing, but these are some of, of, of purchases that I've made from Amazon's clothing that I Actually, I love these shoes. These are the shoes I wear in the winter time um, that I actually wear and like. Actually, this sweater right here, <laughs> I have right here, and it's it's really comfortable. And so I put that up as well for people who have asked where I get my clothing from. I do also have um, now. I'm not a beauty person. Like I don't. I'm not into like really into makeup that much. But I know people have asked me about what I what kind of eyeshadow I wear, all that kind of stuff. So I did make a section. With uh, this is the light therapy mask that I actually use a lot uh, for my anxiety. So it, I've had it for a while now. It's well worth the money if you need something with light therapy. Um, I get asked a lot about my eyeshadow, and this is the palette that most people ask about is right here. Um, and so yeah, that's there in case you want to order it. Um, let's see here. So this is a, these are books that I read for fun in the bath. And I kind of made that as a joke. Every evening after a long day of research and filming, I like to take a warm bath and read a fun, easy, but yet suspenseful book. My favorite are fictional murder mysteries. So these are just some of the books that I've read um, that I really enjoyed. And so they're easy reads. They're not, there's nothing hard or difficult. They're very suspenseful. They're whodunits. Um, the book I just finished, let's see if it's here. Okay, is it The Guilty Sister? I just finished this book and I literally at the end I, it was so suspenseful so um so very good book if you like a fun easy read i usually i read them in the bathtub that's what i do to relax um travel must-haves people have asked me about things i use because i travel a lot to travel so i've got all that in here and um my desk i actually get a lot of questions so what's on my desk and so that's actually this is actually the desk i'm on right now so everything i have in here this is right here um ring lights i've used this is a chair i'm sitting on right now actually the desk is cheap now um cheaper than when i got it this is the ring light that i prefer prefer to use um that's the one i'm using right now it just clips to the laptop and um different here's my selenite bowl i've got some sage and stuff in here as well the microphone i use this microphone uh, my my planner this is actually the second year in a row that I've used this particular planner. It's it's hardback. It's really great. I still like to write things down. This handheld vacuum I use almost daily. 
Yeah. So, so this is stuff that's on my desk. Uh, this right here I have, that's my, uh, this is my desk, uh, mouse pad. Um, I just got this organizer. You guys can see because my bookshelf, I have two big bookshelves full of my books and it was getting really crowded. So I had to do something and it's really made a huge difference having this here. It's got an extra drawer where I've got a bunch of my um, highlighters and pens and other things that I use to help me research. Uh, I do film, obviously film from my desk, but I also do a lot of work when I'm not filming when it comes to researching on my desk. Uh, it just kind of helps, obviously. It's, it helps you stay focused when you're on a desk. And so these are things, these are pens that I use. These are things that I really, really use. And so if you are looking for a ring light, microphone, a desk, anything like that, this is the stuff I actually use and very much recommend. Bath and bubbles. This is just a section. When we did our shadow work challenge, I talked about taking hot baths at night because that's something that I really enjoy. And people have questions about stuff to use. This is the Epsom salts that I use. Um, some products I've used in the past that I really, really like. Um, pretty cheap stuff if you want to make that a habit of relaxing at night with Epsom salts, especially if you are exercising a lot. Um, accessories, this is kind of random stuff that um, I've used. I actually got this foot massager for my brother-in-law a couple of years ago. He's a marathon runner. And so I got it for him for his birthday. And my sister keeps telling me that all these years later, the family like fights over this foot massager. We use this in my house. We use this for our neck and we also use it for our legs. So these are really good massagers. I use this every morning, this uh, hair, hair dryer brush, um, all sorts of candles, different, different uh, rocks and eggs and some, some uh, necklaces that people have asked me about. I have on here the Hanuman pendant, Hanuman pendant that I wear. The five minute journal is here. So these are just random accessories that people have asked about. Again, these are all things that people have asked about. Um, all things yoga. So I divided like what I wear to work out, workout accessories and all things yoga. So if you go to the all things yoga, I kind of gear this toward mostly beginners to kind of help them have a starting point to, um, to how, how they're going to navigate their yoga practice. And so lots of really good books to start with, including the Yoga Sutras is here. Uh, Weekly Planner from Ron Doss. Some of my Ron, my favorite Ron Doss book is right here, Polishing the Mirror. And um, some Ashtanga books, some books by my teacher, David Gree, Kino McGregor's primary series book, the Manduka blocks. If you are using blocks, that's my favorite. Um, and also the, the mat that I use is Manduka. They're a little expensive, like this mat is $138, but literally it's lifetime. Um, I've gone through two mats in 17 years. And so, you know, if you're serious about having a yoga practice, I would highly, highly, highly recommend investing in a proper mat like a Manduka. Because if you're buying the cheap mats from like Target, I mean, those are okay for when you're just starting your yoga or you're trying to figure out if you want to continue with it. But honestly, those things are not sturdy they fall apart in like six months anyway. So if you're paying $20, $30 for a cheap yoga mat, but you're having to get a couple every year because you're running your, you know, you're, you're ruining them, um, then it's better. It's cheaper to actually make the big purchase. And um, it's going to last you like 10 plus years, right? And, and it's going to become, it's sturdy too. So it feels different when you're practicing. Uh, I put the yogi towel here. I have a few of these yogi toes mat towels because we have to, in Ashtanga, we have to have a binding towel and a mat towel because our practice is so sweaty. Um, I typically, though, even though I have a few of the yogi towels, I we we we, we order carpets from India from um, a person we know in India. And that's typically what I use now because I know that I know the family it's coming from and I know that that money is going a long way for that family. But if you're in a situation where you don't have access to the yoga carpets, Yogi Toes is the second best option. These towels are really easy. They wash in the washing machine very well. Um, a strap for carrying your mat. If you are someone who travels, uh, it's easier to have a strap to carry your mat. All right, what I wear to work out and workout accessories. I actually have gotten this question a lot, and I I do have a difference between my um, the clothes that I wear and my own workouts and practices versus what I wear to teach in, uh, mainly because my workout clothes get 
real used. Um, and so I have found a few things on Amazon that I actually really, really like. A lot of my yoga pants have been given to me from like big companies to to wear to promote their brand. Um, but as far as the pants and shorts that I found here on on Amazon, uh, they're really good and pretty pretty reasonably priced. You know, if you go to Lululemon, I have a lot of Lululemon pants. They um, they're pretty expensive, but um, there's some ankle weights, uh, wrist weights here for people who do bar. Um, there's a, a ball that's a bar ball, a bar, uh, a bar bar. <laughs> um, for those who like the bar, I use. I don't use a, a bar bar. I use my um, my chopping block, the table in my kitchen. If you've seen some of those videos, but for those who want to do the bar, because I I do the yoga and the bar, the ashtanga and the bar, and you need something. This is. I kind of looked around and um, from the. From the platform that I use to practice bar, this seems to be like the most used one and and, and good one. Um, I love these socks. I have my favorite socks for when I do have shoes on. I rarely have, have shoes on. But when I do go on like walk, long walks or something with a dog, these are my favorite socks. Um, all right. Sports bras. My best so far has been Champion. I really like the Champion sports bras. They're great. Uh, they're soft. So these are a few of the Champion sports bras that I've bought, uh, gotten over the years. These are the, the tennis shoes that I use. These pants, these shorts, you guys, these are my favorite, favorite, favorite workout spandex shorts. I have multiple colors of these. They're only $15 in the United States, which is really cheap. If you look at Lululemon, those things are super expensive. So that's really cheap price. They're really durable. They're pretty good. Um, I've got a couple here. I wore those this morning. This morning, I wore those. Here's some uh, longer legged ones that I've used. So if you're looking for pretty good, work sturdy workout clothes that don't cost you $80, these are really good. I've, I've been very impressed. Because again, Amazon, sometimes the Amazon clothing isn't that great. But these are some, and they have multiple, multiple colors. Let me see if it shows you all the colors on this one. Mo yeah, so it's multiple colors multiple colors so you if you like these and they're high waisted for those of us who are in our middle middle ages and they're high waisted all right so that's there um let's see here travel must have clothing again here's clothing um food and health so i do get some questions about like snack foods or herbs and this is not a very big section but just some of the things that you can order on amazon that i some of this is going to come from whole foods i love the amy's brand of of pizzas and stuff and here's some health force products the super green products i've used um here's some of the although that might be uh, no that's green mush okay well that actually might be for the dog there are products that my dog has used a lot um you'll have to look at this and you can use it uh all life stages so yeah all right so you you can figure it out for yourself what's going to work best for you um let's see here uh the intestinal the, so intestinal movement formula and super colon cleanse these are the two things that i recommend for those of you like myself who struggle with your digestion especially those of you who are rh negative like me and are also vata like me that's kind of like a double whammy where you're you're really dry, your organs are really dry, and you also are RH negative, and RH negatives notoriously have digestion problems. So Health Force uh, intestinal, intestinal Movement Formula was the first thing I did from Health Force, and holy crap, that thing like cleaned me out, reset my system, and then it got a little bit too potent. So that's when I switched to Super Colon Cleanse, and this is a lighter version of that to help keep you regular, to help keep your organs working properly. As far as electrolytes, Liquid IV is my favorite company for electrolytes. And for those of you who work out a, a lot, especially if you're in a warmer environment like me, electrolytes are really important. Um, if you travel a lot, electrolytes are really, really, really important. It is possible to overhydrate yourself. And if you don't, so if you're, if you're exercising a lot, you're super sweaty, doing high impact uh, exercises and you're drinking too much water without replacing that salt it can cause you to get sick it's happened to me before and it was the gnarliest experience i've ever been through oh my gosh um and so i always make sure i have electrolytes now um and these are really great they're my favorite this soup is my literal favorite thing in the whole wide world i've been eating this for years now it's a uh, 
Indian uh, lentil soup. They have, I think I put the non-spicy because I don't like spicy food. They have non-spicy and they have spicy. This company is great. They have a tons of different Indian style. And I'm not a fan of Indian food, believe it or not. As much time as I spend in India, I'm not a fan of Indian food. But I love this soup. This soup is also, it's pretty thick because it's lentil. And some people I know will use this soup for a topping for nachos as well. So there's lots you can do with it. It's easy, easy, easy. It's like 90 seconds in the uh, microwave. So it's it's very, very, very easy. All right. I think that's, is that everything? Did I go through everything? Um, okay. I think I did. So I'm going to go back today and work on the YouTube book link to recreate the YouTube book link for you guys. It has like the Sophia code, the Emerald tablets, the Hathor material, all that stuff. Um, so you guys have easy access to at least find a list of all the books that we've done so that you have that list. So even if you're shopping or buying from like a mom, a small business for your books, you at least have the, the list of the books that we have used. We are going, I'm going to be announcing the new book very soon for Tuesday because we're almost done with the Octarian Anthology. So I will be announcing that soon. But going forward, this link will be in my description box with everything else. So um, again, I'm still learning how to, to work the affiliate links and how to um, update my list and all that kind of stuff. And again, from what I understand, Amazon only lets allows you to have certain amount of um, items in each category. So it might be that we have to do uh, YouTube books, part one, part two, part three, all that kind of stuff as we start to grow our library. And so um, again, so and that's again, why I divided the books I read for fun books by guest and then we're going to have the books that are used on the channel and yeah so i hope that makes sense again if you are one of those people that's very vigilante about not using amazon because of the owner of amazon i would absolutely ask you to reconsider your thoughts every time we go into more of a radicalized viewpoint of the world it's not good you know absolute power corrupts absolutely and so we need to have more of a rational perspective. And I believe that Amazon feeds and gives thousands, if not millions of people jobs. And so from my perspective, I see it that way that, yeah, the guy who created Amazon might not be the get best character in the world. Um, however, he's 99.9% .9 of the people who work for Amazon are good people just like you guys are. They're good, hardworking people that just want to put food on their family's table. And so that's why I don't have a problem using Amazon. I think Amazon is a great um, platform for us since we do have a global community. It's easy for me to create lists because most countries have Amazon. And so that's a way for us to share links for different books, to spread information. And also for the, for people like Kelly, like Kelly, T, for these, for these, the guests of Atlanta, for Mark Headley, uh, Gersant, the guest of Esoteric Atlanta, Mark Headley, Gersant Singh, and Kelly Teal, these are their books. And so every time you purchase from Amazon, they get a kickback from their from their work on these books. And so we always want to support each other. I'm not the type of, like I said, I, I just don't, where is, where is the, let's go here. I'm not somebody that wants to like throw the baby out with the bathwater. I, you know, any type of absolute authority or vigilante violence is just not okay. It's not okay. And if, if the head of Amazon has done bad things, then hopefully he will be dealt with and Amazon can stay up and it can be cleaned out and can be used for good because any Amazon's just a tool, right? It's just a tool. It can be used for both good and bad. And on this channel, we're using it for good. And so if that bothers you that I'm using Amazon, well, that's a you problem. That's not a me problem. Um, I will block people who are abusive in the comments. Um, it's just, uh, we're on the, you know, it's crazy when you open up a platform, somehow people think when you open up a platform that you should be, be beyond the matrix. And that's just not true. We all still have to pay our bills. We all still have to pay the rent. We all still have to pay our mortgages, all that we put food on the table. None of us have escaped the matrix and we're all, we're all in this together. And so I, for one, understand that people need to make their money. They need to make enough money to pay, put, to pay their way. And 99.9% .9 of people out there working hard are doing it simply to take care of their family and themselves with no ill wishes for anybody. And so I'm choosing to use Amazon for the good. 
and not the bad. It's just a, a platform. And again, if you are somebody that's very rigid in your thought like that, then uh, that's a you issue, not a me issue. Not that's not the issue of this channel. Um, and I would I would ask you to to rethink the way that you view the world. Being vigilante, being bloodthirsty, going on witch hunts. If you're that way, then you're no different than the bad guys. You know, so anyway, guys, um, so thank you, guys. I hope let me know if there's any other categories you want me to create for you so that you have easier access to see the things that you've asked me about over the three years I've been on this channel. And again, you don't have to buy from these links. If, if there is a small business uh, that you want to support that sells this stuff, by all means, print off these lists and take it to them and see if you can buy it from them. But otherwise, the links are in here. So yeah. All right, you guys, I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday and I will talk to you soon.